Hello, back in 2015, we published a tutorial about how to podcast with Final Cut Pro 10. The days have moved on, and so has Final Cut Pro 10, and so has our workflow. In this tutorial, we are now going to take a look at the updated version of this tutorial. My name is Andreas, I'm the founder of Ccasting 3000. Put your video projects into skillful hands. We create incredible corporate audio and video products. Check out our website at zcasting3000.com. So in this particular tutorial, we are going to look at the improvements over the last uh, tutorial. If you didn't know, the main thing or one of the big changes in 10.3 of Final Cut Pro 10 was the addition of sub-rows. So this is basically what you're also using now to mix our podcasts. If I bring up the, um, what's it called? The edit sub-rows menu, which I have uh, assigned a shortcut to, it's control command A. You can also find it here in the menu. Uh, I go ahead and create new sub-rows for every podcasting guest that we have and also for the backup. Um, then after the import I just go ahead and assign all sub-rows manually to um, the imported files. Now in the next step we need to sync up all these imported audio files. Now there are two ways to do this. My favorite is actually just to do it by hand because often it goes really really quick but I'll show you a second method which I didn't in the first tutorial as well. So to start with I add one of the audio files to the project and then also the other files as well. Now I just zoom in a little and you can see that this peak and this peak is really the same, so I just nudge it back a little. Alright, that's it. So as you have seen, this is really, really, really quick. And all you need to do now is just add everything to a compound clip and we're done. This is, this is really not a lot of effort, but I'm going to show you the other method now. So the other method works a little differently. We are going to select some files that we want to sync up in the browser. Then we choose Synchronize Clips and just call this um, after our podcast or whatever. Then it takes a little while and this is actually the step that costs more time than doing it by hand in most cases. And we come back when this is finished. So the process now has finished and we can add this synchronized clip again to our timeline. Now the downside of this workflow is we want to work with the sub roles now. So I've recreated our um, manually synced compound clip and the main difference is when I go to the audio inspector I can now switch to show components as sub roles which I can't do with a synchronized clip. I think Apple probably should uh, revise their decision here but there's actually a way around this as well so let me show you. You can go ahead and just add any clip to a new compound clip. Let's just call this UC074 Auto Sync. All right. Then I add this clip to our timeline as well, and it only contains this one clip now. All right. But then I can also go ahead and open the automatically synced clip uh, as well. Then I can just hit Command A to select everything, Command C to copy, go to the other compound clip, go to the end and just paste. 
As you can see, when I zoom in a little, the clip is perfectly synchronized, but it has this other clip in the front, so we can just delete it. And everything is still in sync. And all you probably need to do sometimes is to readjust the handles at the beginning or at the end of, uh, the, comp of the compound clip. Now I can just delete the sync clip. And now we have two compound clips that contain the same material. Let me delete just one because we don't actually need it anymore. Now we can go to the index and here in the bottom it says show audio lanes and we can expand the audio lanes for each and every sub row, right? And because the Skype uh, track is just the backup, I can just disable it here and we have one track less in the timeline. The beauty of Final Cut Pro 10.3 now is that we can uh, apply audio effects to sub-rolls. This is really, really important because this way we can basically create a sub-mix of the various audio files and have audio effects only applied to the sub-rolls without actually going into the compound clip. So, let me expand the inspector. You can do this by a double click here in the inspector as it just says there. And now we can just select one of the uh, sub rolls. I usually do a little bit of noise removal, 50% is fine. And then I add a little bit of loudness as well. And I would recommend uh, you do this manually. So after you um, enable loudness, manually move the sliders until you're happy. One more thing that I want to add here is press uh, Shift Command 8, yes Shift Command 8, to show the audio meters. I find those really really important when I work with audio. Other than that, the beauty here is that I now have this one clip that I can move around and mix with. This is, I can't stress this enough, it saves me such a lot of time. And I'm really happy with this workflow now with uh, the sub rolls. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and I would be happy if we could welcome you soon as a client uh, with Seacasting 3000. Um, this was Andreas. Take care. Bye.